When people think of mummies, most will naturally, probably instantly, think of ancient Egypt. Though the mummies of the age of pharaohs are by far the most famous, they are not the only type of mummy. But let us take a step back. Mummification is defined as the process by which a body is prevented from decaying after death. This can be done intentionally by different processes which varied from culture to culture. For example, the ancient Egyptians would remove the internal organs, embalm and wrap corpses, while in Ireland the mummies known as bog bodies were simply thrown into an oxygen-deprived swamp to be preserved, some for thousands of years. This intentional type of mummification is known as anthropogenic, but the process of preserving a body can also occur naturally when external environmental conditions make it so that flesh-eating bacteria can't thrive, thus preventing decay. In today's video, we will be exploring the case of a naturally produced mummy, a horrific tale of blood and sacrifice that occurred high up in the Andes almost 600 years ago. But before we continue, kindly take a second to like and subscribe if you enjoy exploring the mysteries, legends, and folklore from all over the American continent. This small gesture really helps us out a lot. Thank you. In the year 1440, the Inca Empire was flourishing, about to enter a golden age that began in 1493 under the stewardship of Emperor Huayna Capac. While most are familiar with the fact that many ancient cultures practiced ritual human sacrifice, the act in and of itself seems so foreign and barbaric to us, something in the distant past we read about in history books. But for a nameless 12-year-old girl in 15th century Peru, the ritual was all but too real. Human sacrifice was a practice intended to appease or get favors, such as rain and abundant crops from the gods. They were also often done in times of uncertainty or distress, such as after the death of an emperor, a war or volcanic eruption. Sacrifices were also offered in times of celebration, like at the birth of an heir to the throne, an eclipse or major planetary alignment. It is believed that in the case of this 12-year-old girl, who came to be known as Juanita, the Lady of Ampato, or simply the Ice Maiden. The sacrifice was offered soon after major volcanic eruptions in the nearby Mitzi and Savankia volcanoes. These eruptions precipitated drastic changes in weather patterns and air quality, leading to significant disruptions in crop production. The mummy Juanita was discovered by anthropologist Johann Reinhard and his Peruvian climbing partner, Miguel Zarate, in 1995, while the duo attempted to climb Mount Ampato in Peru, a peak that soars 21,000 feet, or 6,300 meters above sea level. Mount Ampato was considered a holy site by the ancient Inca, a place where many rituals, among them human sacrifice, would take place. Seismic activity, and hotter than normal temperatures that year caused much of the snow and ice cover on the mountain to melt, exposing previously hidden structures and artifacts, evidence of a mysterious past. Reinhard and Zarate stumbled upon the mummy Juanita by chance, spotting what looked like a fallen bundle of cloth off to the side of their climbing path. What they found was a fully frozen and perfectly mummified female corpse with extremely well-preserved hair, skin, organs, and blood. The freezing Andean temperatures had kept Juanita's corpse so well that even the food in her stomach, the contents of her last meal, were easily identifiable. Like most victims of child sacrifice, Juanita had been heavily drugged with alcohol and coca derivatives in the weeks prior to her death. Anthropologists and historians believe most children offered in sacrifice were killed while in a heavy drug-induced stupor. To make matters worse, these children were killed in horrific ways, such as being buried alive, strangled, or through blunt force trauma, as was the case with the Lady of Empato, who was killed by being struck on the head with incredible force. The Ice Maiden was found alongside many items often used in Inca burial rites, 
as offerings to the gods. These include llama bones, small figurines, pottery, cloth and gold, and silver jewelry. Since her discovery, the mummy Juanita has been on display at the Santa Maria University Museum of Andean Sanctuaries, located in the town of Arequipa, near the ancient Inca capital of Cusco, Peru. Though through modern technology and a perfectly preserved frozen mummy, we are able to determine much about what happened to the Lady of Ampato, what she ate and why she died, many mysteries surrounding the iconic mummy still remain. Why was Juanita chosen among so many children at the time? How and why did this now abhorrent practice come to be in the first place? For example, did it ever yield the intended results? Was it simply incorporated from cultures that inhabited the area before the Inca? All these and many more questions have yet to be answered. However, perhaps the most important aspect of the discovery of Juanita was the DNA sequencing done on her showing DNA belonging to the Nobi people of Panama, where the very first advanced civilization on the entire American continent is said to have lived. This fuels more speculation as to whether our historical records are correct, but at the same time, it drives further research and helps unveil some of the ancient mysteries of the Inca and other cultures from our past, hopefully bringing a better understanding of our present and shedding a guiding light as modern society barrels into the future, ideally learning from and not repeating some of the grave mistakes of our past. Thank you all for watching, and please, if you enjoyed the content, kindly take a moment to like and subscribe. It only takes a second and really helps the channel. If you would like to support our research and content creation in a bigger way, please consider joining us on Patreon for less than the price of a cup of coffee per month. Thanks again, and stay tuned for more.